Hey guys, me Tom, I'll show you another normal war replay. This war is a bit of a weird one because they had a 13 win streak. We had a 24, now 25. And they only used half their attacks. So they didn't really do much. Giving us left a tower 12 and even a tower 13. And another tower 13 unqueered. Which is kind of weird, to be asked. Okay, let's go into the replays now. It's not going to be very many replays because <clears throat> we kept getting unlucky with our hits, like ninety-ish percent or whatever. This one's a legend's base. Just your standard E drag composition army. You remember in this space it's compact and the CC and the CC isn't won't get triggered by the your heroes, so it's another thing to consider. And also you can wipe out the CC before your heroes trigger it, so can eliminate any hounds or ice horns or whatever in them. You can see how quickly how quickly this space wrecked with that e dragon attack. There is a tornado at the bottom next to Scatter. If you see it in the CWL or war or whatever, it's, just remember it's below in front of the town hall next to that scatter where this RC is currently. And now we move on to the second replay. Soon, it's just your normal AE drag ten loon and all that stuff. Army, see so yeah. it. On to the second replay now. This is a quite an interesting base. First off, you can see there's three single infernals, which means kind of like you want like kind of spammy armies. So flybrids, flybrid stands for uh, like, it's like hybrid, but flybrid air version of it, I guess. Is that super minions, dragons, loons? So flybrid bad bats is the name of this army. Super minions are better against flybrids are better against single infernals because this, although the dragons and the loons take fire, the super minions stay safe and they. Doing what, a lot of damage. Nice. I don't know if the tornado was triggered on this one. Oh, yeah, it was. Tornado in this base, if you see it, it's between the town hall and the CC. It's behind the town hall. It's in between the CC and the town hall, so... Yeah. Once you take out these scatter shots and this wizard tower, there's no splash left. So, this is the threat. I mean, air explorers can also be a threat as well. So now the focus is on this air explorer and this scatter shot. But the unicorn tanks the scatter shot well. It is distracted, which is pretty interesting. We have Queen Up. So that's a good replay there from Road Dog 15. That's the army composition of five bridge bats. Feel free to screenshot it or whatever. Okay, now we're moving on to the third replay here. Do 
This one's using a hybrid. Just your normal basic hybrid army. Nothing special, like no blizz or anything. A bit unsure why you used normal warbreakers instead of super warbreakers, but that's whatever I guess. Normal warbreakers are just normally too fragile to do anything. So keep that in mind. So now that the town hall has been queen charged, uh, we can just, you know. We just try to eliminate the threats here as soon as possible, especially these two single journals. Unfortunately, unfortunately, this uh, inferno locks onto the queen, which we forced the ability. I guess we can use warden ability and spells earlier because this is a heavy damage area. Uh, the two fingers. The tornado in the space is next to Town Hall in front of it and below it. Can you see where the healers are? That's where the tornado was. But yeah, I can't see anywhere else. That's the third replay done. <laughs> Next one, we have all expos on ground and a slightly under leveled on new 14. That's a new drag attack, so nothing too much special. Tornado in the spaces between the CC and the town hall, where that top right scatter is. Okay, so the fourth replay is done now. The fifth replay is on the way. You can see how rushed these bases were. Well, I mean, at the bottom, you should see how rushed they were and how bad they are because this one is weird because they only used. 26 out of 50 attacks and they threw in like town lights with level 1 walls or something so yeah sorry if there isn't much replay this to the in this today's war recap they just had a weird roster all around <laughs> you can see how quickly this space is shredded with uh, I think there's only one expo on air, the rest are on ground. And it's been kind of a bit under leveled. Uh, you can see how quick and easy E drags are with all expos on ground and the buildings touching each other. Stuff like that. Nothing much to see, it's just the standard army composition of the e drags Okay, we're on to a sixth freeway now. Uh, got all you got one x one air, the rest are on ground, and you can see how compact this space is, especially in the quarter space. 
Let's just get into the car that's in front. Over the heroes. Unfortunately, this this infernal is going to cause problems, but whatever. Some cocoa beans and the shrimp for somehow. Bit of an interesting finish there, but there we go it with the e drags at tile 13. Similar compositions, just one less spell <coughs> than what a tile 14 has. And now we're on to 7th free play, the last one for today. It's this one, you've probably seen this one a few times. It's a common CWL Legends or Legends base. And it was popular when Tile 13 was a top level, so... It's one of the teaser base, especially with all those explos in front of, behind the Tile Hall. Interesting approach with the Queen there because he faced one expo at a time or two expos at a time rather than the whole army kind of like the whole expo farm targeting on one hero which is a bit of a disaster. Unfortunately the Queen will go down but it is what it is. And this seven spaces are direct as well. Tornado and his face is usually on a teaser side where the town hall is, but you know, they may differ from base to base. But yeah, you can see uh, how badly rushed these last few bases that didn't show are. Well, maybe not this one. That was a dip. So yeah, this clan had many of these rushed bases, so. You can tell it wasn't really worth our time to trying to show this stuff to you. Like these are super rushed, but uh, we only had Tile 12 as a bottom level, so it felt a bit sorry for our 12 trying to clear out all these rushed stuff. Anyway, thank you for watching this, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and peace out.